Hey YouTube, just wanted to give a brother a shout out here, Gene Revel, as in like Revelation. Um, I think this is the second time I've given him a shout out. He just did a video uh, talking about Kleck claiming that uh, Gideon realized he was a fallen angel, or an angel. And um, Gene did a very, very good job on this. I had done something on this. I think Justice Fighter was the one that originally exposed this and uh, notified me of that. I did a video on it, but uh, Gene went into a lot more detail. So I strongly suggest that you guys see this. Um, if I can get my computer to scroll here. It's called Jonathan Clegg Reveals That Gideon Was a Fallen Angel. So um, I'm very encouraged to see that people are uh, stepping up to the plate and defending our Lord and His Word and um, but I wanted to make another comment here. I tried adding uh, Gene's new video as I've tried several times before from like people like Braveheart or uh, uh, We Do Not Consent Ohio and other people that have made videos. Uh, you know, my my playlist here for the Jonathan Clack cult is not just for my videos. It's for everybody that's exposing Clack. So, I tried to, uh, to add that uh, Gene's video to my list, and YouTube refuses to allow me to do that, and this has happened several times. Now, case in point, I'll move my screen over here a little bit, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of what's going on. So you see here, I checked the Jonathan Clegg cult, and usually you get a little notification here that it's been added and um, you see it checked but it's not added so that for the life of me I just don't understand I, I don't know why that would be that way uh, it, other than the fact that it seems that uh, you know YouTube is deliberately not allowing this now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to refresh this real quick for you. You saw me just add it. Okay. There it is there. So, you know, Project Veritas has come out and exposed Google and no doubt YouTube uh, for stacking the deck and hiding content that they don't like. Why they would block somebody trying to expose the truth I don't know I mean I've done all these videos case by case point by point over 50 of them now and um, everything in here is proven beyond a shadow of a doubt it's supported by factual content um, a lot of it from Bible scholars uh, you know PhDs Hebrew scholars um, direct quotes I don't know what more a person can do to try to get the truth out but it just seems like Google and YouTube don't want the truth um, I did a video about uh, collect you know buying bots or, or doing something shady um, as it came out he had a video and it said he said it was banned worldwide yet you know it had all these likes and dislikes so uh, and that's the first time I had ever seen the option to like or dislike a video that had been banned. Usually it just says this video is not available, this video has been uh, blocked because of copyright of XYZ. So I mean something serious is going on with with Google, YouTube and uh, you know the deck being stacked. Um, I just want to bring that out like I said Project Veritas just came out with this huge long list of uh, you know people that they've been blocking and so I want to speak right now directly to the employees of Google and YouTube look I'm gonna shoot straight with you um, if you guys are whoring yourselves out for money and you're working to enforce the policies of Google and YouTube and they're not righteous you're gonna pay for that there's no money in the world that's worth your soul and if you block good, honest, biblical-based content based on some type of company policy, 
that you know is evil in nature you will pay now Jesus said what is the profit of man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul so you know these piddly little paychecks that you're getting now it's not gonna be worth it in the long run so I want to give you a warning for that you want to continue to block my content you want to continue to hide my comments you want to continue to know you know hide my notifications you want to continue to bury my stuff you want to continue to remove my comments you want to continue to play games with my channel and I know I could go through the big long list of everything that you're doing but uh, you know you're doing it I know you're doing it God knows you're doing it and that's what's important God knows you're doing it and you will pay you better think twice and Google you know you stockholders and, and all these people that are behind all this promoting this uh, world order agenda and uh, you know for the global elitists and stuff who happen to be run by fallen angels and yeah that's that's a fact and I can prove that but I won't go into it with this video but the, you know the fallen ones <coughs> are working with these big corporations and uh, they're the ones behind it folks Michael Heiser's explained it many times it all happened back uh, at the fall of uh, the Tower of Babel and um, when God dispersed the people all over the planet to confuse the languages and he dispersed the people based on the number of fallen angels that, that were available do some research uh, for those that are interested and um, so yeah Satan does run the planet but God ultimately has the trump card as far as what happens and what doesn't happen so you know he, he's, he's making uh, notes so with that I'm just just a warning you know you better back off people that are you know doing what the Lord's called them to do because you, you're putting stumbling blocks and you're preventing the truth to come out and that's called stacking the deck that's not righteous behavior okay so with that love you guys out there all my subscribers and if I can do anything for you let us know and um, you know we're still plowing on here we're busier than we can be but um, Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.